what impressed me the most about John Williams, um, what impressed me the most about John Williams' career is uh, how he has transcended generations. I mean, of course, there's a generation of the 60s and 70s, which is mine with Star Wars and Jaws and Close Encounters. But then you jump to Jurassic Park and that generation. And then you jump to Harry Potter and that generation. And then you jump to the new Star Wars and that generation. How many composer have been able to sustain that amount of, of staying power and sort of transcended, you know, one generation after another. That to me is a power that only John Williams has. I would say that one of the greatest challenges that I met in trying to make this film originally was John Williams himself. He is extremely private. He feels that his work is his word. And so convincing him to, to do a film about him was difficult. In fact, I've known John for 30 years and I think have been asking him to do this film for 30 years. However, thanks to uh, my uh, uh, friendship and, and uh, work relationship with Steven Spielberg, um, around the time that John turned 90, I, I told Steven, we have to do this documentary. It's a duty for us. I mean, it really is an important thing to do. And Stephen agreed. And so he approached John and then I uh, basically continued uh, uh, the dialogue with John. And coincidentally, uh, Imagine Documentaries had contacted me to talk about my work and, and immediately said, uh, we're going to cut to the chase. We want to do a film on John Williams. And I said, well, take a number because uh, we already started and we're already trying. And, and so they came on board and also Lucasfilm, uh, Frank Marshall and Kathy Kennedy uh, joined. And so we really felt that the family uh, uh, that has surrounded John all those years, all those decades, uh, was complete. And that really is what convinced him to start, uh, uh, you know, trusting uh, 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 the team here. And uh, off we went. The thing that I find so inspiring about John Williams and Steven Spielberg is once they commit to you about something, they give you 5,000%. And so... There was no, uh, uh, nothing of topic. I could, you, you, you know, literally I could talk about anything and everything. I could access all of John's photographs and 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 Stephen's home movies and 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 really go to town in, in trying to illustrate this incredible life and career. I first became aware of John Williams as a kid growing up in France uh, when at a time when movies would come out about seven months in France after you know their American release. Uh, however, the soundtrack albums were available and I would listen to the music prior to seeing the films. So you could say that I discovered cinema through music and the music of John Williams. Um, and I immediately identified him as the music of, of, of my childhood. And that has carried through my entire life. I mean, there's not a day that goes by that I don't listen to John. Um, uh, he's that important to me. And really, uh, uh, again, signifies that his music can also live outside the movies. And that's very unique to, to John himself. One of the important messages in the film is really John's dedication to orchestral music and to his musicians. Um, he is classically trained, has uh, he is an eternal student of music, of what came before, and um, has wanted to preserve that symphonic experience for him, his musicians, and frankly, for us. So that that is a message that is essential to this film because as we know with, not only with music, but with screenwriting, acting, directing, uh, there is a threat. Um, and that threat is artificial intelligence uh, taking over artistic minds. 
So John's message is um, is very much at the center of this film and that I hope it echoes for generations to come.